it's time to go over the state of Chelsea. So far in the last two weeks, I've talked about City and Bayern. And I guess that this week is time for Chelsea. Chelsea were a team that coming to the season had a lot of expectation for. They had just won the Champions League and they made a few major improvements. One of their major improvements was sending Romelu Lukaku, the second top scorer of Serie A the season prior. So I guess you can begin to see why those expectations were so high. I picked, I didn't pick them to win the Premier League because I, I just knew that City were not going to slow down the season even without a striker. But I did pick them to finish. I did pick them as my second favorite team to win the Champions League. And I even stated that in the best case scenario, they could finish. They could not. In the best case scenario, if everything went well, they could end up winning the Premier League. Well, things haven't gone that way so far, and it doesn't look like they're going to win the Premier League, and it's only January. Welcome back to the JVM Football Channel, where you can find game analysis, football history, individual performances, top 10s, etc. If you are interested and would like more football content like this, please subscribe to the channel. So let's go over my predictions. Um, yeah, I picked them to win the Premier League in the best case scenario. And I picked them as my favorite, second favorite to win the Champions League. And in the worst case scenario in the Premier League, I said that they would be finishing fourth. If they don't watch out, that may happen um, this season because I really don't know how, but Chelsea got themselves into a top four race. If they win their game, if Tottenham win their games in hand and if United begin to play proper football and win their two games in hand, then Chelsea are going to be in a very sticky situation. But let's talk about what has gone well for Chelsea first. Well, what has gone well mainly is how they have kept their defensive posture. Um, and this is really, this really goes out to to help um, mainly because that was the main thing that was wrong with Chelsea. That was the main reason they got rid of Lampard the last season. They were just conceding too many goals. So Tuchel came in, went to the back three, and went on to the Champions League. And he doesn't, he, and he didn't slow down or stop with the defensive duties, disciplines, and standards that he had last season. And that has really helped Chelsea. They are they are currently ten points behind City with a game in hand, and that is not good at all. But as if we're going to talk about what has gone well, that's something that has gone very well for them. But I think I'm going to stop there. Yeah, I'm going to stop there. If you're talking about the Premier League and what has gone well for Chelsea, I think that's how, that's as far as you will go. Yes, you can talk about individual performances and the individual what some individuals have done, the likes of Thiago Kovacic, Rudiger, etc. And I will get into it at a later part in the video. But for Chelsea, what has really gone well is that. And if you're looking, for example, at the Champions League, they finished second in their group with two points behind Juventus, which is also not bad, but considering they had Tenet and Marmo in their group, I mean, they had to at least finish second. Yeah, and this is really going to be this video because Chelsea just had so much expectation coming to the season that they've really not lived up to it just yet. And uh, unfortunately, I'm scared that they will not because for Chelsea, the expectation this season was to win. I've won the Champions League again or the Premier League and it doesn't look like they'll be able to do any of those things. What has gone wrong? The main thing that has gone wrong with Chelsea, mainly in the Premier League again, if you want to attribute it to a reason, would be how they have lost points. Um, they've lost silly points and that is coming back to bite them. And those points have accumulated into a 10 point difference, a 13 point difference if they don't watch out. And now they're fighting with United, West Ham, Arsenal and Tottenham for that third and fourth spot, which is something you don't want to get into this early in the season. At this time in the season, uh, if you're talking about the beginning of the season, I really thought that we would be still in a four-man race between City, Liverpool, Chelsea and United, leaving the rest for dust. 
But that has not happened and that is partially the beauty of the Premier League, how unpredictable it is. And if we're talking about what has gone wrong with Chelsea, I want to also point the finger at Lukaku. Lukaku came into this season as to be the goal threat. Just have been missing this goal threat type of player because of how poorly Werner had been performing. So what did they go and do? They splashed the cash and signed arguably one of the top five strikers last season. But Lukaku has not been up to par at all. He has not been where he came into the team to be. He has played six in games so far in the Premier League and he scored five goals. Five goals is not bad, but it's not bad for a player that plays, for example, in Southampton or Crystal Palace. Not to diss those teams, but what I mean by that is a player that is not competing to win the Champions League. When you're competing to win the Champions League, you have to be producing numbers like the likes of Salah or Jota. You have to be at the very, very top to really help your team. Um, 16 goals, I mean, five goals in 16 games played is not acceptable. You show the main focal point, the main focal um, goal threat for the team. Mason Mount is not that and he's scored seven goals this season. How is Mason Mount outscoring the striker of the team? The guy that came into the summer that the clubs splashed, cashed on, that finished as the second scorer, second scorer of the Serie A last season. And another main big problem with Lukaku is how the things that made United fans kind of start to dislike him and you know, those little bad things he does, like the horrible touch and I wouldn't, say, I wouldn't say lack of effort, but the silly mistakes he makes, which cost the team, are now being evident with Chelsea. It's a shame really for Lukaku and I don't know how long he'll be at Chelsea. If he's not going to be gone by the end of the summer and if, if he doesn't improve drastically by next season, then I can really see Lukaku going by 2023. Now I want to talk about the player I picked to watch for this season, which is Mason Mount. Um, for every team and every prediction that I've done, I picked a player to watch, you know, just someone that I thought could have an interesting season if things went their way. And although Mason Mount is not having, you wouldn't say he's having the most outstanding of seasons, he's been producing for Chelsea. He, in 21 games played in the Premier League alone, he scored seven goals and six assists. I mean, 13 goal involvements in 21 games is not bad. And I think that's a massive improvement from last season. Yeah, last season he played 36 games and only scored six goals and five assists. So he's already done better than what he did last season and we're only in Jan. So props to Mason. He's not having the best of seasons, but it's been an improvement and I'm glad that he's performing at this level. Now, if I have to pick, if I have to pick five players, my top five performers for Chelsea so far this season, it goes to Thiago, Kovacic, James, Ru um, Rich James, <laughs> Rudiger, and Mendy. I think that these five have been just excellent. Kovacic in the middle of the pitch. I mean, just to read out some of his starts to you, Kovacic has he's registered two point six lo long balls per games. 1.8 chip passes per game, 2.5 tackles per game, I mean a pass accuracy of 87%, um, a pass accuracy in the opposition's half of 90 of 83% and on his half of 94%, 1.2 key passes, Kovacic has been impressive, With 5 assists he's been impressive to say the least. So yeah, but anyways, this is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching the video until the end. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more game analysis, football history, individual performances, top 10s, etc. This is the beginning of something special and it would mean the world to me if you subscribed and helped me to grow this channel.